Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Fibonacci price tools for Ninja Trader 7. So, on your chart, you'll notice there are a couple of different ways to get it. First thing you'll notice is you do have the drawing tools icon right up here on the top left. You can also right click your chart and go into your drawing tools and get your Fibonacci tools that way. So we have two tools, Fibonacci Retracements and Fibonacci Extensions we'll be focusing on in this video. The Retracements are the two-pointed tool and the Extensions are the three-pointed tool. So we'll start off with the Retracements here. And what you do is go pick a high and then go down to the low of a swing. And once you have that, you'll want to adjust these settings to your your own personal preference. So I found just by right clicking like you can in other platforms it doesn't actually show you. What you have to do is left click, so normal click on the actual line to highlight this drawing. Once you've done that then you can right click your highlighted drawing and choose your properties. This brings up your adjustment field where you can choose your coefficients and also choose a few other settings. So you can customize this to your heart's content. I'm going to customize it the way that I typically look at Fibonacci retracements, which means I don't want to see anything except I do want to see the 1272 extension and I do want to see the 1618 extension. After that, I like the lines to extend to the right, so I will check that box as well. And then I will hit Apply and OK. And we can see those levels will populate exactly how we want. The next tool is going to be the Fibonacci Extensions tool, aka the three-pointed Fibonacci tool. So from that, we'll be able to, once again, pick a high and a low of a swing and then move the cursor up to the third point that we want to look at. Just like with the retracement tool, if we want to actually edit any of these settings, which I do, you have to click on one of the lines that are drawn, and after that tool is highlighted, then you can go down and choose your properties. And same thing, adjust this to your heart's content. I personally only like looking at the 100% line on my three-pointed tool. So I'll turn everything off and I also like that line to extend to the right. And once again we can hit apply and OK. And then there we have it. The two-pointed tool and three-pointed tool configured to my liking and exactly how you find that in multiple places. I certainly hope that was helpful. If you do have any other questions for me, please go ahead and sign in to simplertrading.com. Go over your foundation dashboard. Click the simpler tech segment, and then there's a button right on top to submit a question to me. Hope it helps. 